Konnichiwa! What's up everybody? Furious Petey here coming at you guys with another snack taste test. This is a Japan snack taste test and I'm super excited. Uh, a company sent this to me and I am going to open it up right here on camera for the very, very first time. I've never opened this box before, so I've never seen what was inside. Meldiva, who's behind the camera right now, opened the box up earlier and said, it is awesome, there's a lot of fun stuff inside. So naturally we're like, let's do a snack taste test. Now I've done these in the past, gone to different countries, Vietnam. I've actually done Japan before, but this one's a little bit different, it's more like, fun snacks, candy snacks, things like that. So, if you guys wanna see more of these snack taste tests, give this video a thumbs up. Like my buddy up in Ottawa says. Before I even say one word, you guys already know I'm the light god. So go down, smash that like button, let's hit 250,000 likes minimum. So you guys know the drill, smash that like button, and there'll be a lot more snack taste tests coming your way. So let's get on with this one. The box says premium. Premium. How do you say premium in Japanese? Pure mami. What? Let me see. Purimiyamu. Purimiyamu. Premium. <laughs> Let's open this box up, okay? I'm gonna let you guys see it before I do, okay? You ready, Mel? Yes. Oh my gosh. It's so colorful. So colorful. Is there exciting stuff? Is there exciting stuff? Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't stand it anymore. I wanna see. I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see. Oh, it even gives you a little brochure and tells you what is inside. That's more fun. That's a lot of fun because it tells you what the hell everything is. But let's put that brochure aside first because I wanna see. We got a Pikachu pocket monsters, a corn, corn thingy, a, a, a fish. I hope this doesn't taste like fish. Actually, there's strawberries on the package, so I think we're safe. This looks like like something savory. Puff pops with tomato and cheese on top. This looks delicious. Popcorn! It's a monkey. We got a monkey. Curious George! Do it yourself. Let's make pudding Curious George. But for this one, we're gonna call it Furious George. So here it is. There's Curious George for you guys. Sangria. Sa oh, is this alcoholic? Cheetos! Cheetos barbecue! A G curry snacks. We got a koala on a box. Uh, lifesavers or something like this. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. We got, I'm not sure. Okay, let's get started and then we'll read our instructions when we follow along. All right, might as well start with uh, the last item that we took out and it is a pudding flavored jelly. Packaging is quite substantial. This tastes like a custard, but it's jelly. I kind of like it so much so that I actually finished it. It tastes like a vanilla custard, but it's, it's in jelly form. So it's gotta be better for you, right? Cheetos barbecue! Let's do it! Twist on a popular American snack. These, Cheeto fe these Cheetos feature a flavor exclusive to Japan. You can't get this anywhere except Japan. What happens if it actually tastes really good? We're gonna wanna go to Japan right away. And I know most Alexa Cheetos. Their packaging is like way more like firm. It's like, it's a lot harder to open up, which is good. I mean, it's better for like tampering and all that stuff. That's a good, that's a good Cheeto. Mm. It tastes beefy. No. Yeah, so it's just like, in all these Asian countries, the beefiness and all the meaty flavors are just way more beefy. The barbecue is way different than American barbecue. I find American barbecue is a little more sweet. This is like actual barbecue. <laughs> they do it better in, 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 you know, in theory they do it better. This is good. I'm, I, I like this. They need to bring this to America. Japan, bring this to America. Cheetos, bring this to America. I have no idea what this would be. No idea. This, it looks like this would be a sour product because there's a guy on there that's like really making faces, but there, he's also holding a ball of noodles. So I'm going to see what my legend says here. Spicy garlic ramen. Oh, I mean, I gotta taste it, right? Everything I shouldn't be eating right now. Spicy. Are you supposed garlic. to put that in water? Oh uh, yeah, you're supposed to boil this up, but that, there, we don't have time for that right now. We gotta just taste it raw. You gotta do it like you used to do in high school. Mmm. Oh, I'm good. I would never cook this. Never. This is awesome. This is so good. And there's no instructions on how much you're supposed to boil, all this other stuff. I feel like everyone just eats these raw. Because this, this genuinely tastes really good. This tastes really good. I want something sweet. So we'll go with one of these guys. This looks sweet. I have no idea. It's got these like little figures on there. 
It's funny how in all these Asian countries, cultures, they they always like to get all colorful and and I guess, well, anime is just so popular there. So I guess this is where it kind of like stems from, where everything needs to be happy and smiley and faces everywhere. Muchandango. This candy version of a classic Japanese confectionery will be a favorite for anyone who loves mochi. What's mochi? Oh, it's a type of ice cream, I think. Ooh, a close relative of the dango. The sugar-coated pink dango strawberry flavor, green dango apple flavor, and white dango traditional have an irresistibly sweet and chewy texture. Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's try this guy. It's not bad. I'm just not such a sweet guy. You know, I, I don't really like my sweets that much. And I feel like this is like, not only is the middle sweet, I kind of like the texture. It's like really soft, chewy, soft, chewy. It's like a soft chew. But not only is the middle sweet, but it's also covered in sugar. I noticed no difference in flavor really between the, the, the red, which you call strawberry, and the white, which you call vanilla. The green apple, is that green apple? Apple flavor. You can definitely taste the apple. This is good, this just isn't my go-to whatsoever because it's like sweet and whatever. I'm just not such a sweet guy, I like my savory. Although I do like my ice cream. Next, all right. We'll save Furious George for the end because uh, I just feel like there's a little bit of work involved in these guys. So uh, next up, we'll take, we'll take this tube. Now this tube, Umai Bao, Chocolate. Sounds like in my bowel. <laughs> in my bowel, which means delicious snack. <laughs> no, wait, delicious stick. That's even better. <laughs> Surely lives up to its name as these classic puffed corn snacks are irresistibly popular throughout all of Japan. Have a taste of the hype with this chocolate flavored one. Ooh. Let's see what she's all about. Ooh. It's very airy. This tastes like, in Poland, we got these like, uh, these like corn puffs that really you eat them and they have like no, no flavor whatsoever, but they got this crunchy chewiness to them. This tastes exactly like that with chocolate over top. This brings back memories. Ah, next up. <laughs> what is this even? What is this? This is like a fishy fish. Strawberry fish. This is the Puku Puku Thai strawberry. Puku Puku Thai strawberry. Apparently this is a really popular snack. It's a strawberry flavored Puki Puki Thai. Crisp and airy. These are perfect light snack. Perfect, because I, I clearly, you know, I'm trying all these snacks. I need a little light snack for intermission here. Ah. It looks like just a giant wafer. Mm -hmm. It's like a giant, you know, you get those um, coffee wafers and whatever. That's what it looks like. Is that very really? light. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. That's really tasty. That's really good. Mm. Mm. I actually really like that. That's really good. I would totally like with a coffee or like uh, a, a Japanese tea, green tea. This would be fantastic. Uh, this is this is good. It's really good. Why haven't I had anything that's awful yet? I'm really disappointed. I don't know. I really enjoy the fact that like, I want to try something and be like, ugh, ugh. But I haven't had that yet. Maybe this is because this was like a box of premium goods. If this was like a box of shit. That's what they should send me. A box of shit goods and just do a taste test with that. That'd be awesome. Valdiva said we need to switch up cameras. We're first time ever using the, the Sony RX100, but we didn't know how to use the battery. So uh, back to the Canon G7X Mark II. So we'll see you guys in two seconds. All right, welcome back. Let's get on with it. Uh, we're gonna go with one of these guys. Um, these look like lifesavers kind of thing. This is what they look like. Little candies with like fruity lifesaver kind of thing. Um, that's that's what they remind me of. But what they actually are is Fufu Ramun Grape. Fufu. We're gonna eat some Fufu. These whistle candies are, um, are a favorite. They're also a solution for anyone who have trouble whistling. What? Whoa. Just help you whistle? How does that work? You're supposed to blow air through it? I have no idea. Yeah, there's like an image that like Oh my god, says, okay. Open I, it, open it. This is fun. This is great. I just So I don't know what this is. Is it a whistle? Oh I got a dinosaur! Oh my god. <laughs> don't let Furious find this. This is a candy. No, it's not. It's definitely plastic. 
All right, so these things, apparently I can whistle through them, so here we go. Hold it the other way. Use me. Oh, you suck well, You have to pull in. That's why I thought you had to turn it the other way. Oh my god, that's so loud. Is it gross? No, it tastes like grape. Can I have one? Yeah, you can. Tastes like grape? Mm-hmm. It tastes like hubba bubba grape. Yeah, not bad, right? Oh my gosh, I wish we had more of these. So yeah. fun. Yeah. Imagine getting these after going to the keg or like mm. a restaurant. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's so loud and annoying. I, I love that. Hop up up a grape with, uh, with a little whistle fun. I wonder if you can just do this with a normal candy, like a normal lifesaver thing. No. We should try it. Nobody's tried it. This will be, this will be a hack. <gasps> All right, next up, what this one I'm really curious about because this looks like, I don't even know what this looks like. Like I said, it looks like a puff pastry with some tomato sauce and cheese on top. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like to me at least. Um, takoyaki. I know what takoyaki is. Takoyaki naninwa. And those are, I remember Stoney making a video with takonaki or something like that. With authentic thick takonaki sauce flavor, it's almost better than real takoyaki. A perfect snack if you cannot get takoyaki easily where you live. Naninwa is an actual place in Osaka where takoyaki is from. And wa means ring. Takoyaki naninwa is a fun ring shaped snack. I think through that entire blurb you pronounced takoyaki three different ways. <laughs> really? Takoyaki, takoyaki, takoyaki. I don't know, I didn't get to read it. I remember seeing Bourdain eat takoyaki not too long ago. Oh, they don't look like anything. Like I, I was hoping they would look like this, like actual takoyaki, but instead they are like this. <laughs> like, like on the package. On they're the left rings. side? They're rings, yeah. I was hoping they'd be like this. They smell tomatoey. Oh, so it's a savory. It's a savory. Now, the taste test. I think you're not liking it. I'm not disliking it. I need one more. That was two. I would love all of them. <laughs> not perfect. It's starting to resemble a little ketchup in this. Not that bad. I think you'd like it actually, Mel. Uh, I really am digging those grape whistles. You don't have to, I'll but try I think it. you'll like it. Mm. Semi like it. Okay, I see. Yeah. Yeah, it grows on you. I would eat. I would eat them. Takoyaki. What do we have left? Popcorn. What is this popcorn never... thing? What is this popcorn thing? I don't know. What is this popcorn thing? Okay. Looks like butter popcorn. Lightly salted butter popcorn is. Perfect for your next movie night in. Ah, so let's. So if I was watching a movie, I would put my feet up just like this. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what she tastes like if I did that. Oh. Ah. Ah. That's actually really good popcorn. I like that. Yeah. No. <laughs> Just a few more items to go. I think we're gonna do this one next. There is no English on this whatsoever, which I like because now I have to guess. It looks like a marshmallow man on top. And it is, it is a mashuro. A mashuro is a twisty blue and white marshmallow and is perfect on its own or in a cup of hot cocoa. We don't have hot cocoa today, so we're gonna eat it on its own. It's least like a marshmallow. Nothing special. I need to burn this. It looks really, enjoy this. it looks really fresh. It does taste fresh. I think there's enough preservatives in here to keep it fresh for a very long time. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna do some aji curry. It's kind of gotta go from sweet to savory, sweet to, sweet to savory. You can't just do savory, 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 sweet, 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 because then it just doesn't work. So we're gonna do some aji curry. No, this is not a plate of curry, but a curry flavored crispy snack. Curry rice is comfort food in Japan, and these snacks are a way to enjoy the hominess of curry without the mess or stress. I like my curry. I like Japanese curry. Japanese curry is like way different than like Indian curry. Um, or Thai. Or Thai curry. Um, this is like, like Japanese curry is usually like really thick, really, really thick, and uh, it's just darker and, and usually just tastes way different. Um, I really do enjoy it. Whenever I got to Japan, it was, it was awesome. Let's see what this guy tastes like. 
You know, there isn't like a strong taste of curry on this. I was hoping for a stronger taste, maybe a little bit. Yeah, starting to get that taste of remembering being in a noodle house with all the curries and stuff like that. That's, I'm starting to get that flavor in my mouth. Pretty good, but it's not overly strong. I prefer a little bit more uh, flavor in it. It would be a little bit better, but overall, pretty damn good. So, this giant package right here, and I love, love the presentation. This looks like a marshmallow once again. This has to be a marshmallow. What else would it be? It's a Coco Daifuku. Uh, everyone's had marshmallows in their hot chocolate, but have you had chocolate inside your marshmallows? Oh, no way! These tiny marshmallows have a chocolatey center and taste like hot chocolate to go. No way! Are you guys ready for this? Do I break it over or take a bite? Take a bite and show the camera. Oh, yeah. Oh my God, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's got like a hot cocoa taste too. That is good. That is real good. Next up, we got uh, Pikachu. <laughs> Pocket Monsters. Uh, these look like potato wedges right here, right? Those look like potato wedges. I think that's pretty safe to get. Uh, it's called Pokemon by Bakuaku. Bakuaki, Bakuaki. Um, Pokemon are here to introduce you to a tasty new snack called Bakuaki. Thin. Banana shaped, oh, it's banana shaped. Senbai or rice crackers. These crackers are extra special in a corn postage flavor that is savory and classic. We're down to the final three guys, this is getting sad. They smell like corn. They smell like corn on the cob. This, that's what it smells like. That's interesting. It tastes like corn on the cob. Oh my God, I need to try that. But why are they shaped Correct like Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Corn on the cob. Corn on the cob crispies. Mm -hmm. Corn on the cob rice, rice, rice crispies. But they're good. They're good. Because they're not I have, saturated like, in flavor. They're yeah. like subtle. We were at Brick's the other day and uh, we had corn on the cob and it was really good. And I was like, I want more corn on the cob. I can't wait until summer happens. But no, I get to have these guys instead. So until summer happens with corn on the cob, I get to eat these. Now this is black koala march, cocoa and milk. Cute koala cookies with chocolatey outside filled with a creamy condensed milk cream. What's not to like? Fun fact. Koalas March supports the Australian Conservation Group, Australian Koala Foundation. Oh, so this is this is like a good meaning behind it. So that's pretty damn cool. Open it. Uh, yeah. Hmm. They look like this. Oh, they got a little koala. Oh, sorry, Mr. Koala. They got. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> they look. What the heck? Is it alive? They look like kind of like animal crackers. It holds it still. So they kind of look like animal crackers. They got they got a little koala on. They kind of look like animal crackers with a little koala on it, right? Cute. 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 Let's see what cute tastes like. Cute tastes really good. Mmm. I think you want a cute one. Mmm. 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 -mm. I like. Oh, cute. it's so cute. I like cute. Mmm. 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 That's good. You know what I like about it? It's got like, when there's chocolatey goodness in the middle, it's actually very hard. Not very hard, but it's like, you have to bite into it. It's, it's got some substance to it. It's not like creamy and whatever. I like that. That's really good. Mm -hmm. We said we'd say Furious George for the end, so therefore we're gonna do the drink. This mixed fruit juice tastes just like a fresh blended smoothie. Make sure you shake it up. Oh. <laughs> as, you can, as you can before you drink it. It contains oranges, Apples, pineapples, peaches, and bananas. How are you gonna do that now? Okay. <laughs> Is it mixed? I hope so. Mm. It's got a lot of chunks inside. Really? It's like really pulpy, really pulpy. I did not expect that, but it's quite tasty. Yeah, it's, it's actually really good. Why haven't I had a snack that does not taste good? I'm really like, you know, you wanna, you wanna do one of these taste tests and you wanna critique everything and be like, this tastes like shit. You want like, I, I remember doing snack taste tests and like eating stuff out of Beijing and China and it was not tasty, it was not good. This, 
everything has been good so far. I'm actually disappointed. I'm actually the finale. Furious George. Let's see what you're all about. Let's read the instructions. A childhood favorite. Furious George would be a childhood favorite. Pudding in Japan refers to flan and is one of the most popular desserts there is. Make some with Furious George using this easy do-it-yourself kit. Do-it-yourself kit. Ooh. This is, okay, see, this is a problem. They're telling me that, you know, do it yourself, whatever, but there's no, ins no English instructions on any of this. Although there's some images here. Oh, I need milk. Oh my God, look at the cups. That's so cool. We're keeping this cup out there. Can you spin it? That looks like a really uh, thick plastic. It's not that thick, but um, thick enough. All right. It's too funny. Insert milk here. All right, so we got some milk now. Except there's too much milk. Let's As see. you can see, there's a perfect line right there. And tells you Perfect. So, we are going to open this guy up. And I'm guessing we just... Oh, you're supposed to put this, mix this, and then put it in the fridge for like 30 minutes. This is like those... This is what's going to happen when we do those mini I'm so things. excited. Yeah. So fun. Pudding! Pudding. This is right. so 30 something. So I'm gonna guess 30 minutes. So we're gonna put this in the fridge and we'll be back to have the final taste test. And hopefully Furious George is delicious. I'm not even gonna taste the spoon right now because I think that's going to ruin the experience. So we're going to put this in the fridge. All right, so uh, half an hour later, we have a much thicker consistency as you guys can see. Look at that. Wow. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Let's 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 not delay this any further and give this a little bit of a try. It's like overly sweet. Oh my god, we have some negativity. It's a little too sweet, you know. It's overly sweet. Um, it's good. Nice texture, but it's overly sweet in my opinion. Furious George. What'd you do? All right, well, I mean, it's 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 good. I wanna give it the benefit of the doubt because the glass and the cup look really cool and cute and, and it's a monkey and it's Furious George, and, but it's overly sweet. So we found some negativity, which which makes me happy because I wanted something negative. So uh, it doesn't, I, I would not, I probably wouldn't go for this personally. But if you like super sweet stuff, this is yours. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I enjoyed it because I got to, to taste test a bunch of really fun stuff. Uh, if you guys want to see, like I said, more of these kind of videos, let me know in the comments below. Let me know where I should order some snacks from because this is this is just a fun adventure. It makes you feel like you went to a different country for a day, you know, or, or for an hour. It's just it's just fun. So uh, I recommend trying do trying doing stuff like this at home personally. Make sure you guys check out all my links in the description below. Follow me on all my social media: Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Twitter and all of that jazz. Make sure you guys follow Mel Diva as well. She's behind the camera. All the links will be in the description below. Check out Goku Gains, our brand new pre-workout at getgokugains.com and check out our brand new performance line at furiousparel.com. Thanks again for watching. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your daily support. We'll catch you guys next time. You guys stay sexy and stay hungry.